Herbie believes passionately in the importance of public higher education and also engineering education. And he believes that we have to get more young people engaged in solving society's greatest problems. And to do that, we have to give them an environment that encourages collaboration, that encourages them to think outside the box, to work together and cross boundaries. And that's exactly what this building does. And we wanted this building to reflect the forward-thinking engineering that was happening in it. So it was really important to show off the exciting things that engineers can do. To be able to, to go into the front door and see there's the innovation studio, right? There's, there are the students learning to be innovation leaders. That was so important. It's a space for creativity and inventing things and making ideas into something tangible. And the learning difference, you can just see it, it's, it's measurable. And the students are so excited. Within engineering, they're bringing together sciences and mathematics to apply it to make something bigger than themselves. By the time they leave, they're going to be quite a, a workforce to be reckoned with, especially within hands-on education and hands-on manufacturing of items. The combination of assets here is unique and unrivaled in academia. The Innovation Institute is really set up to help students reach their innovation potential as leaders of the future, and it's really set up to really support the faculty as they bring their new technologies to market. Having people that have gone through the problems that you're currently going through is one of the most valuable things that you can ever experience. Having that insight from someone that's been through before saves so much time and kind of helps you really fixate on the real discoveries that need to be made on, and on the new innovative products that can be created through having tools like the ones in this building. Being here among this uh, sort of interdisciplinary group of people who have just enough overlap to complement one another to me is a big game changer. This move into this new building feels like a rebirth of our research program. Uh, so I'm very excited. Uh, the building is state of the art. As far as advancing our research program, I think that what it really does for us is it gives us a chance to interact with and collaborate with and have daily collisions with, if you will, faculty from these other departments to really advance our agenda. I believe that it is in the engineer's DNA to be a catalyst for change. And the amount of change that we can have in the near future is incredible. Look, this building says Gator Innovator. That's what it says to me, right? Because it's not only just the building, it's the feel of the building, right? It's the fabric of the building. It's how we're going to use the building and leverage it to be able to, to show not only current generation, but future generations. This is what it means to be a Gator Engineer. This building would not have been possible without the generous support of many of our alumni and, and supporters. They saw early on the impact that this could have on our students and our faculty, and the physical embodiment that it would provide for this concept of the new engineer, which they all helped shape. So I'm incredibly grateful to all of them. This is going to be a lasting legacy for them and for our students and faculty.